Yeah, that's right. Well, let's uh, shift gears here. With over 40 years of impact here in the coastal empire, the Save a Tree Foundation continues to pull communities together for a remarkable cause. Tomorrow, you can participate in their second tree planting initiative, which kicks off at Wormslow State Historic Site at 1 p.m. Go ahead, check this out. Last spring, the Rotary Club of Savannah partnered with the Savannah Tree Foundation Save a Tree at the Wormslow State Historic Site. With over 75 dead trees lining the Avenue of Oaks, the foundation knew it was time to plant a new community building legacy. It's been 40 years, we've planted over 5,000 trees um, and we've protected so many more. It's bringing trees to the forefront and understanding that they're uh, a resource that we need to be protecting and also replanting. Last year we planted 30 trees. This year we're doing 10 and then next year we'll do the last 35 uh, just to kind of stagger it out. When trees are young and, and planted, they really need a lot of water and maintenance. So we're trying to just stagger that. So we're really ensuring that these trees are planted to last. And last, that is, for future generations to marvel at. These are trees that are being planted for the next several generations. We won't, we won't see this come to fruition. Another hundred years is what it's going to take before these baby trees come to what our beautiful canopy looks like today. It's along this alley, under these trees, that treasured memories are made as one of the most iconic sites visited in Savannah. The Oak Avenue is, of course, the, one of the biggest draws. We do have uh, three, 4,000 years of history here coming from Native Americans all the way up to the English occupation in the 1730s. Uh, so that is one of the big initiatives that we wanted to just make sure that this uh, beautiful vista is preserved for the next several generations, not just for us. A tall order, you might say. But for Save a Tree branch manager Robert, well, you could say he goes out on a limb to make sure every detail is carefully planned. A solid inspection of the grounds before we go in, we want to make sure that we're not uh, cutting any utilities or anything just for the safety of the person that's digging the hole. Uh, but also we want to make sure that the tree is uh, in a location where it's going to be healthy and happy for hundreds and hundreds of years. But this feat requires a bit more prep than breaking ground with a shovel. We use a uh, stump grinder. Uh, it's a very, very heavy machine that has a cutting wheel on the front that allows us to uh, sort of surgically uh, create a hole in the ground, uh, no matter if there's other roots existing or, or rock. That's basically what we use, yeah. A necessary stage to building the foundation for the community to begin their part. It's really wonderful to have people from all walks of life. You know, there's the Rotary that obviously has funded a lot of this. There's people who, you know, have seen it on Facebook and have come out with their kids right. and grandparents, you know. It was, it was really fun last year to see just the gamut of people who are here, and I'm, I'm excited to see who shows up this year to help us out. A labor of love, you might say, but more importantly, an opportunity for the community to come together. I just love seeing so many local coming out of the community to really put forth some effort, so love of many locals. We are, you know, the heart of the Isle of Hope community. It is really important to have uh, these events like this that do make sure that, that our locals do have an opportunity to put a little bit of sweat equ equity into uh, their beautiful backyard. But after the trees are planted, the soil packed and sun drizzled, how do these trees actually thrive? There's a lot of communication that does occur with trees under the ground with the root system. So it is absolutely imperative that they're placed uh, correctly so they can uh, form a healthy community of soil organisms. So maybe we're not so different from these majestic trees. With a little light, water, and connection, our roots too will grow deep. Yeah, Sam, it was such a beautiful day out there. Looking forward to that event tomorrow. And well, speaking of wood, I've got my Sherwood stick and I'm hoping it'll bring me a little bit of luck out there in just a moment when I play with these guys. You know what? I, I don't think you need luck, Becky. No superstition today. I think you've got it. I, I'm not seeing any falls out of you today. I'll, I, I'll knock on wood for you just to be safe. It's fake wood here, but yeah. All right. Thanks, Sam. Well, guys, for afternoon break, we are just getting started here at N Market Arena. Stick 